trigonometric functions of acute angles fundamental identities suppose we have a right triangle with angle theta here is angle theta then this side is adjacent to theta so we denote by a this is opposite of theta so b and this is hypotenuse it's the opposite of 90 degrees right angle c then if we find the ratio of these three sides in a certain way then we define the trigonometric functions in that way like sine of theta is in short we just write sin theta but we still call sine theta that's the opposite over hypotenuse so b over c if we take the ratio of b and c then that's sine theta sine of this angle and cosecant theta just the reciprocal just flip this fraction c over b that's the cosecant theta we still call cosecant theta uh, next cosine theta that's the adjacent over hypotenuse a over c and the reciprocal of cosine is secant that's c over a tangent of theta that's the opposite over adjacent okay b over a and the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent that's a over b uh, some people in some classes the six trigonometric functions are memorized in this way so ka toa that means sine is sine is opposite over hypotenuse just b over c opposite over hypotenuse and sine then cosecant is reciprocal of sine then cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse cosine adjacent over hypotenuse toa tangent is opposite over adjacent that's what we did here opposite b over a so sine is opposite over hypotenuse cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent and the reciprocal of sine is cosecant we can go in this way down here cosecant is just 1 over sine and secant is 1 over cosine secant is reciprocal of cosine at the same time we can write this relation in this way cosine theta is 1 over secant in this case sine theta is 1 over cosecant theta cotangent is 1 over tangent or we can interchange these two ratios then tangent theta equals 1 over cotangent and two more fundamental identities here uh, tangent is the ratio of sine over cosine you can check in this way sine is b over c opposite over hypotenuse divided by cosine theta cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse if we simplify this complex fraction in this way b over c change this into multiplication flip c over a c c cancel now we have b over a and we know that opposite over adjacent is tangent so sine theta over cosine theta is tangent okay and if we take the reciprocal we get cotangent is just cosine over sine and three more fundamental identities okay these are the squares so obviously they are coming from pythagorean theorem and we know uh, let me draw that right triangle again we have 90 degrees and this angle is theta adjacent opposite hypotenuse from the pythagorean theorem we know that the sum of the squares of these two sides is equal to the square of this side that's a square plus b square equals c square 
Now from this, if we divide both sides by c square, then divide by c square, divide by c square, we get one in the right hand side. Now separate into two fractions. So we get a over c square, that's a square over c square, but I'm writing a over c square plus b over c square. Then let me go for this first, uh, a over c, a over c, what is a over c? Look at here, a over c is basically cosine theta. So this is cosine theta squared. And there is a tradition to write in this way. When we have cosine theta times cosine theta, cosine theta is squared. In short, we write just cosine squared theta. Okay, that is in fact cosine theta times cosine theta. So this is cosine theta squared, which is cosine squared theta, plus b over c is sine theta, so sine theta is squared. Let me write this first. Sine theta is squared is sine squared theta, plus this is cosine squared theta equals one. So from this, we can derive the first Pythagorean trig identity sine square theta plus cosine theta cosine square theta is one okay so look at here a square plus b square equals c square now if you want to derive this second then if you divide both sides by b square because there are there are three variables we divided by c now we can divide by b okay and we get this identity and if we divide by a, we get another identity. So here is tangent sine square plus cosine square is one. Tangent square plus one is secant square. Cotangent square plus one is cosecant square. Okay. And these are all the fundamental identities you need to know. At some point, when you use these a lot of times, I mean, you get to use it, you memorize these.